as a chemical engineer, as an entrepreneur, but first and foremost, as a father to three young children, I wonder what kind of earth I will leave behind for them. And the question I ask myself is, what can I do to make a difference? I'm here today to talk to you about my answer. Recent studies showed that due to climate change, sea level may rise several meters in only 50 years. That is so alarming that we have to start to take CO2 out of the air. Only plants take CO2 out of the air. So the answer is large-scale nature restoration. The opportunity is huge. Today, an area the size of the United States and China combined is degraded. If we are able to bring back nature in all of that land, it will be equal to eliminating a third of all CO2 emissions globally. Now, the challenge is that most of that degraded land is so dry that young trees do not survive. And that's why we developed the cocoon. You can see one here with the plant, and I'll pass one around later, right here. The cocoon basically is an incubator for a young tree. It boosts the growth rate, and it achieves survival rates of over 85%. And unlike irrigation, it prepares the tree for an independent life in nature. As you can see from these images from the Arabian desert, we planted seedlings only 10 centimeters tall, and they grew within one year to 1 meter 60, this big. Today, they just went through their second hot summer, and they are thriving. The ones that we planted without the cocoons, well, they didn't make it. So how does that work? Well, the cocoon provides shelter for the sun and for the wind. It provides water for that first dry summer. And it provides fungi and bacteria for a healthy soil and strong roots. The roots go deep and they go wide, and they get access to nutrients and water. Well, and if you have roots this strong, then you're on your way. It's a matter of years when the cocoon will degrade and become nutrients for the tree. Within the Land Life team, we share this passion for large-scale nature restoration. It's an interesting mix. There's a scientist, there's an arborist, but you also see people with backgrounds in companies like Apple and Bugaboo and McKinsey. But of course, we don't do this alone. Over the last two years, we have worked with over 500 people, volunteers and paid crew, kids from school and university professors. And something all of these people had in common is that they were extremely passionate to do something good about the place where they lived. So that's all really great, but you can wonder, OK, what's the business model? Well, we sell a superior product that is highly scalable, 10 times cheaper than current restoration practices. The market today is already $200 million in revenues. And the cocoon will only grow that market, because now we can plant where we weren't able to plant before. There is, of course, a challenge here, because this is very much a see-is-believe kind of industry. So it takes time to adopt a new technology. And time, that's what we don't have. So with the Green Challenge, we will restore three areas, each the size of Central Park, in California, in Mexico, and in Spain. These projects alone will take out 250,000 tons of CO2 out of the air. That is as much as all cars in Amsterdam emit in a year. But there's an even bigger value in the inspirational effect that will have on other organizations to follow suit. Because today, typical projects are in the order of a thousand cocoons. You will lift that by a factor of 100. And that is what we need to accelerate large-scale nature restoration by several years. So help us to create the momentum and help us to spread the message about what the cocoon can do for our climate. We see what is possible so that we and our children can live in a healthy planet. And me, I will not rest until we are there. Thank you.